Hey folks, how's it going? I'm Josh, and today we're going to be checking out an Idiot Abroad Season 2, Episode 4. This is um, Well Watching. Guys, please continue to leave comments below, because all our videos are based on your comments and recommendations. And if you are subscribed, we check out those comments and recommendations first. We also have a Patreon, guys. If you can't afford a Patreon, it's all good. Just continue to like, share, subscribe, and comment below. That helps the channel a ton. Um, and also, stick around for the credits at the end, guys, for our first 30 patrons. Let's jump into it. Flying a fighter jet. Forget that. Not interested. Climbing a bridge. Forget that. Uh, let's see. Been there. What are you choosing, Carl? Uh, whale watching. Okay, good choice. Why? Just whales. They're, they're amazing, aren't they? Yeah. Biggest sort of thing. Um, Their tongue is as big as an elephant. That's right there, it would be, wouldn't it? It'd be weirder if it had a human one. Human size, if you said it's that big and yet its tongue is human sized, I'd still <laughs> want to see it. <laughs> so, we'll send you to Alaska to watch. Would you be interested in spending time with some Eskimos? Or Inuits now. Uh, you don't say Eskimo, it's a derogatory term. Who's come up with that little problem for them? <laughs> I've never heard an Eskimo moan about that. <laughs> Why are they going to be bothered? These people make up little rules. You can't call a midget a midget. They prefer dwarf. And all that. Eskimos, what would be that? Leprechauns don't like it. No, leprechauns <laughs> don't exist. No, but, but it's on the same line. Leprechauns do not exist. It's the same thing, though. If they did, they go, don't call them that. What do right. leprechauns prefer to be called? Gnomes, or... <laughs> there's, there's something... Leprechauns there's something... prefer to be called gnomes! <laughs> so confused. Oh, God! I'm just saying, it's never the person who it is who's getting offended, it's always someone else. Right. That's super Whale true. Whale watching, yeah? Good. Right. That is so true, man. I think I moaned a lot last time. When I saw it back, I was like, oh, God, I'm moaning. I think it's the heat. When you think about it, the countries that are always at war and kicking off, it's always the hot ones. It's because you get agitated. But I've never heard about an Eskimo kicking off. It's like they're just cool. <laughs> I think the cold is going to be tricky. But I'll, I'll handle it. I've got a special coat. I mean, it's not that great visually, to be honest. If there is a whale, I'll probably miss it. Because it's... I mean, look, look at that. <laughs> Mr. Freeze. Drink. How are you doing? A little bit jet-lagged. Uh, it's a little bit nippy. But I'm, you know, I'm looking forward to it. You know, the, the whale thing is what I'm here for, isn't it? Hello, mate, Steve here. Um, look, Ricky and I were talking, and um, we thought it would be a bit of a shame if you didn't take in some of the local culture and uh, visit the Arctic Circle on your way to see the whales. I know how much you enjoy a good walk, so we've arranged for a nice chat to take you um, via the scenic route. All right? OK, safe travels. Bye. Well, it's meant to be global warming. Ice is melting and all that. There's loads of it. Hello. Marty? Yes, Marty Rainey. How are you doing? Well, you must be Carl. I am, yeah. Have you been shopping? Well, I brought some things for you back there. One of these sleds is me. Your pack is on there, the same pack that I, that I have on. Let's feel the weight of that. Um... Where are we going? Do we honestly need this? I think you're carrying a lot of extra. No, we need that. This is very serious business. Just this seems a bit like a lot of work to do just for a walk. OK, stop and listen. <laughs> oh, I've noticed that when I was waiting what? for you. I, I noticed it's lovely and quiet. I love peace and quiet. You like the silence? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I it's like It's like that. spiritual. But that's what I was going to say. It's lovely and quiet here. Is it much quieter up there? Oh, <laughs> you. you bastard. Hey, partner, you all right? I don't understand that you're doing it. Carl, this is called... Are, Are you OK? Yeah. You sure? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm good. You want to take a break? I'm Let's not going to let it beat me. I like a walk, honestly. At home, I'm always walking. It's just relaxing. But you can't do that here. It's just, it's just really hard work. Five foot snow shouldn't be being walked in. Just get up and keep rolling. You can do it. Yeah. Use your poles. You, use Come your poles. On, yeah. You all right? Yeah. You're fucking bastard. Surely it's good to keep your energy in case you need it. 
If a polar bear comes around the corner, you've got to wrestle it. You've got no energy because you've been wading through five foot snow. <laughs> you okay? <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Hang on a minute. I kept saying, do we have to go through this five foot of snow? He's going, yeah, you love it. It's a good life lesson or whatever. Are you all right? Yeah, it's just flipped over. It's never going to come in handy, that. Because I know if it was like that at home, you'd go, right, let's stay in. Columbo box set. In for the day. Oh! What? What happened? The sleigh thing's tipped over. Are you, do you want help? No, no, it's all right. I can sure. do this. Carl. I'll come back and help. No, don't be coming back. Those are my skis. Don't lose them. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. You OK, bud? Yeah, I've sorted it. You all right? <sighs> yeah. What? You're using a lot of my breath up. You keep saying you're all right. I've got to say, yeah. <laughs> and I'm using my breath up. OK. You sure? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> that's good, man. Carl's like, nah, man, I'm gonna do this myself. That's what's up. That's. that's Can you drink up. this? Yes. It's clean. There's no cleaner snow in the world. Is that okay? Yeah. I was dying of thirst. Have you got any water, Marty? No, we haven't got room for it. It weighs stuff. Well, hang on a minute. I'm carrying a spade here that we're not using. I think I think water's more useful than walking around with a shovel. <laughs> and when do you use that? I was in five foot snow. Can I get the shovel? No, you don't need it yet. When, at what point, <laughs> how deep does something have to be before you go get the shovel out? <laughs> I'm just worried. Because I'm going in Marty's footsteps, so if he's been on dog shit. <laughs> Let's roll. Why don't you grab it and pressure stuff that nobody stepped on, man? What are we doing? Are we doing a bit of skis? I'm worried about that. At the end of the day, it's like going on a slide. But if you do that as a grown man, people go, look at that knobhead on a slide. It's a grown man, what's he doing on a slide? But for me, it's the same. Let's see if you've got skis on. Follow me. You coming? Yeah, I'm Hold coming. Come on, keep your legs together. Fuck you now. Grow up. Stop messing about on hills. OK, and then you go up, you can go up a hill sideways. It's hard with a sled and a pack, I know. You know I've never skied. Well, I didn't know that, but now we're learning. I mean, even Eddie Eagle struggled, didn't he? And he was an Olympic fella. Concentrate. Nice and perfect. Skis together. Awesome. Awesome. We should stop saying that. That's annoying me. Everything's awesome. I've got no sort of point as to judge things by anymore. Where are you going? Follow me. We had a burger. It's awesome. Well, it's a burger. Let's calm down. Say it's all right. It's nice. It's a good burger. He raves about everything. Don't panic. You're good. You're good. Awesome. That was amazing. Nice. It's not easy. We're over a mile away from where we're spending the night, and we will be getting back when it's dark. So we have to be uh, focused. I am. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> it's all downhill. Woo! Fucking dead right there. Since I got off the plane, it's been downhill. <laughs> What's the toilet situation here? There is no toilet. But, but there is. There's a room for it. You've, you've gone to the trouble of having the room. All that's, that's just for changing your privacy. We're in the middle of nowhere. Well, you don't need privacy. OK, number one, you can just do over yeah, there. Yeah, that's not a problem. OK, number two, you make yourself a, a nice, a nice wedged toilet paper, if you will. And I'm not joking. You are kidding. I'm not joking. You can have this one. Hang on now, earlier you were going on about, mate, sure you keep your gloves on. And you just told me to wipe your ass with a chalk ice, basically. And hang on a minute, I've just remembered, you had me eating it over there. <laughs> you said, yeah, the cleanest snow in the world. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I'm so cold, I can't even play. I wrote this song, you ready? It goes like this. I really caribou you. I'm a loon when you're a whale. It's hard for me to bear, because I love you so dear. I really caribou you. You're salmon, special to me. <laughs> <laughs> uh. 
been up for ages. You can leave the door open if you want, because it makes no difference. It's freezing. Never know when I might like it. I haven't slept, really. Looks cosy, isn't it? That's the problem. I hate that, because that's what I mean. People at home will be going, looks lovely, that. It's the sort of thing you see in Switzerland, nice sort of log cottage. It's not. There's no insulation whatsoever. It's a shed, really, which, which are fine when they're at home, and you're just growing tomatoes in it or something. But when you try to sleep in it, you've got a heater there that doesn't work. Pointless, that. Doesn't do anything. You've got a vac in the corner. Of all the things you need in here, heating is essential. Unless they sort of think, oh, back up, you warm up. It's freezing. <laughs> Doing all this, getting all dressed up like this, and you're thinking, oh, he's out on the, on the road again, getting out in the thick of it. I'm only coming out and brush my teeth. <laughs> Hi, mate. How's it going? Uh, it's fucking freezing. Is it? Well, I, I, I looked at the weather forecast where you are, and it said it was only like minus three, minus two. Right. Well, what, what do you mean, though? If that if that's the temperature at home, you'd be going, oh, nippy today, innit? You certainly wouldn't go for a walk. I was out in it yesterday for about nine hours, having a wander through five foot well, snow. It's lovely here. It's about 60 degrees here. We just walked from the Hampton to uh, Highgate. We just wandered around. Going to get a cappuccino or skin up latte or something. The spring has really come to uh, London now. Do you know how like, normally <laughs> you wake up and it's like, oh, well, I, I, I need a wee or I need to get a drink, yeah. I'm thirsty. I got up at about two o'clock because I needed to put my hat on. So that's that's what it's like here. It's not relaxing. That's meant to be like the little relaxing bit. Listen, stop complaining, because um, I've arranged for you to go and finally meet some Eskimos. Uh, and it's in a little town called Barrows, the most northerly point in Alaska. I've arranged a little ice road trucker to take you there. All right, see you later. See you later. Just watch a few episodes of Ice Road Truck. It wasn't bad. It's just snow and ice and uh, an Eskimo village. Yeah. There's just not a whole lot there. For a place to live, I'd call it the armpit of the universe. It's not bad. It'd be way on my bottom of the list of where I'd want to live. And then the people up there at Barrow, they're out there on their hunting trips and stuff, they got polar bears to contend with. They could be sleeping in their ice shelter there, and a polar bear come along and just all of a sudden start digging them out. Digging what out? Digging them out of their shelter. People? Yeah. Anything up there that moves or smells is food to a polar bear. Anything. They'd actually dig you out. They will, if you're in a shelter, yeah, they'll dig you right out of there. Well, probably that's why not many people stay in igloos now, isn't it? I mean, that's like a fridge for yeah. food. It's, it's, like a fridge, it? it's like a fridge with food, that's it. It'll be a, a life-changing experience, Point Barrel. Well, say, like, if you, if you were allowed to pick off this bucket list, what would you pick? You could do anything. Oh. You could see anything, eat anything. Maybe go to Australia or, you know, travel around the world a bit, but it sure wouldn't be Point Barrow. <laughs> he's a friendly version of the angry Russian guy in that episode. <laughs> you gotta hate it. You gotta hate it. Let's go and see these Eskimos then, aren't they? Not a very foot in the washing out, is it? Really? He's still in that stuff. Rosabelle, what are you doing? Come on in. Your name? Carl. Carl? Ah. Or Kunan. Yeah. Kunan. Jamie. Welcome Jamie. to yeah. Top of the World. Yeah, I know. That's... Yeah. yeah, you can't get any more on top, can you? Right on the top. Right. Freezing. Heat's yeah. meant to rise. Uh-huh. Doesn't hear. <laughs> okay. Freezing. Come Will I take my shoes off? Uh come here and yap. If you want to. Only yeah. if you want to. Yeah. So What's your reason to come to Barrow, Alaska? To see a whale. Oh goodness. Big whale. I, I just want to see one. Just Would see you like one. to see Maktuk? Maktuk. 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 Chok. Maktuk. Are you hungry? A little bit peckish. Is this like the, 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 the Eskimo version of Golden Girls? What's going on? The outer <laughs> laying of a bowhead whale. That's whale. Yeah, it is whale. Have a look. Bowhead whale. We eat it fresh or eat it frozen. 
It's just that when I said I came here to see whale, I meant swimming, not in a carrier bag. I'll have just a small, a small oh, yeah, piece. Oh, yeah, sure. Normally, if I have meat, it's cooked, it's warm. They're having, like, just taking stuff out of a freezer and sucking on it. Like a little little buffet, them, to that. Just open the fridge, suck on some processed peas and a bit of meat. Everything's like having an ice pop here. It has a fishy taste. Yeah, fishy smell. Very delicious. You can even... How is it? Can you have that? Oh, you'll be in the stomach this. You'll start gagging. Aria, is it good? Chewy? Oh, chewy, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, here. Well, he's thinking he's chewing it forever. That's caribou frozen. We eat it frozen. Mm. Why, why do you have an oven? You have an oven, but everything's cold. I don't find it. Hey? What's up with her now? What's happened? <laughs> I saw that they were old. I thought, great, you know, I can just sit down. They'll probably nod off after a bit, all the excitement of having a visitor. And uh, she said, no, I've got, I've got plans. I'm going to take you out. And I was thinking maybe bingo or something like that with her age or a bit of shopping or just something that old people do. It's nice. What? The weather. Feet are freezing. Yeah. Yeah. But it's okay. Not really. <laughs> She's got one of those snow bikes. She says, come on, we're going, I'm going to take you to Point Barrow. All right, no helmet or anything. I'm thinking, Jesus, look at her. She's got these bifocals on. She shouldn't really be on the road. Do you have to have a licence for one of these? What? I said, do you have to have a licence to drive one of these? She couldn't hear me. I was trying to talk to her. If I need to have a wee... What's that? Are there toilets? Yelling on this side, that side, trying to get through to her ears. Are there toilets at Point Barrow? <laughs> Her eyes are knackered, her ears are crap. She was in charge of the bike. She's giving me a headache. <laughs> she kept saying, oh, it's going to be so great, you know, when we get to Point Barrow. I don't know what it is, I've never heard of it. Yay! Point Barrow! This is it. This is it. What? Is this it? Yeah. Well, there's no else here. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yes, nice. It's the same as where we were. <laughs> What's that? I said it's the same as where we were. <laughs> I was oh. thinking the same thing. <laughs> There's a bunch of snow. Uh, you're there long enough, I guess you'll see the differences. Welcome to Point Barrow. Barrow? Point Barrow. Yay! What's there? Yeah. It's the northernmost point in the whole wide world, right here. All oh, this is ice. Yeah. When you come here, what do you do? Get my thermos, but I didn't bring one. You didn't bring what? Thermos bottle. Did you, did you say you bring some tea? No, I thought there'd be something here. I thought they'd have a coffee. Coffee, tea, Oh, yeah, cake. I didn't bring any. Oh, brilliant. I know that saying, you're on top of the world, means you're over the moon, you're happy. Well, I am, it's freezing, I've got a snotty nose, and my feet are going numb. <laughs> sure, I've got frostbite. I just thought there'd be more to it, that's all. <laughs> I really don't know how to show something that like now. I've seen a lot of wild bones knocking up. about everywhere you look. They just dotted around big, massive whale bones. That's I mean, wild. that's the problem with eating whale. When you think about it, it's not like a chicken, where you can just give the bones to a cat or stick it in the bin. You got a big, massive bone about the size of a Ford Fiesta. Everyone knows what you've had for your tea. It's out in the garden. Big, massive bone. Can't get shut of. Can you hear me? Yeah. Do you know where we are? I'm like a, 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 a glacier mint. I'm stood on top of an ice cube. You're complaining that it's a bit cold. You're complaining you're in the middle of nowhere. But I don't understand that you chose this trip. What did you think it was going to be like? Because I thought I was going to see a whale. And when I've seen a whale on the telly, it's normally a nice calm ocean with the fin sticking out the top. It's all in its head, blurting some water out and a nice bit of music. 
Where I am now, I'm like in a giant fridge. That's got out of hand. It's fucking freezing. <laughs> It's not like it's dangerous, is it? Well, it is dangerous because there's polar bears knocking about. You are not going to be eaten by a polar bear. But when you had your medical, I found out that you didn't let them test you for testicular cancer or test your prostate, did you? No. No. But that's, that's... Why not? In the UK alone, more people die every year from prostate cancer and testicular cancer than being savaged by a polar bear. It's a bit of a weird time to bring it up when I'm in the middle of nowhere. It's one of the biggest killers, right? And that's just a simple test. So a doctor pops his finger up your anus and he goes, yep, you're all clear, and that's you relax for another year. Uh, I, I don't understand why you're suddenly caring about this now. I've got little battery left on this phone. I'm wearing the battery out. If right. something happens, I'm dead. Right. So don't be worrying about my testicles right. and the arse. Right. <laughs> this doesn't happen on Bruce Parry. <laughs> I've got to go. <laughs> I'll see you later. Right. See you later. So see you later. See you. I'm never going to see a whale. What's the point in this program being in HD? It's a waste of time being in colour. <laughs> giving me a headache. <laughs> I don't understand it. How can you have all this and the sun? Oh no. It's weird. But that makes it worse. It blinds you. But then again, if you live here and you go blind, you're not missing anything, are you? <laughs> now to look at anyway. Oh no. That's how I feel when I walk out on a fresh one a day and the sun's just reflecting off the snow. You know, when I spoke to Ricky, he said, you know, don't be messing about making snowmen and all that. He said, get involved. You know, get some hands-on experience of what it's like living in that community. I'm Carl. I'm Rob. How are you doing? Nice to meet you. I'm gonna have you come out with me and help me pick up some waste. And then I got the radio, they'll call me in if someone needs a bucket picked up or... Just any sort of rubbish, just someone calls you... Sewage. You know, from the toilet. But I didn't realise part of, you know, getting my hands on something was getting my hands on a load of shit. That's a lot, isn't it? Is that a day's worth? Uh, depends on the house. I'm gonna tilt and I'm gonna stand to the side. So right. if it splashes, I don't get hit. Honey buckets, that's oh, what you they call them. Which sort of sounds nice, doesn't it? It sounds like something that someone might call the, the boyfriend or whatever, or girlfriend, honey bucket. But then when you see it... So there you go. Fast. You don't want to get splashed. It's coming out of the... There you go. Good job. Oh, God almighty. I, I, don't, yeah. I don't understand why he's got that name. It's just a big bucket with thin bags of shit and piss in them. Yeah, that smells my money. That was a lot of shit in that. It's heavy, isn't it? It can be. Sometimes they get filled with the rim. Apparently not every house has them, but... There's still like a load of them that just have these honey buckets, which plastic buckets, you stick the proper toilet seat on them and you can just have them anywhere in your house. The more I heard about it, I kind of thought, I quite like the idea of being at home and no matter where, where you are in the house, you can have a shit. <laughs> you know, sometimes it is annoying when football's on or whatever, you have to wait till half time instead yeah. of just going, actually, just get the honey bucket, sit in front of the telly and do it. They don't need your sort of Sky Plus or anything here. Things to do before you die. Jesus Christ. This we use on my uncle's farm when I'm when Next I one. Let's get Alabama done as quick as, as we can. I remember it's a it in the What's that load like? It. You think it's fine and then you disturb it. The smell wakes up. Oh, don't do that again. People called him up. As we're driving along, his, his radio thing was going, going quick. Quick, get to number 188 or whatever. It's like, Jesus, what, why, what's the emergency? Oh, I need a honey bucket. What's wrong with yours? When you get there, you realise a bucket's been here, it hasn't been picked up, it's frozen. Frozen! The shit's frozen? Frozen! When was it last picked up? The other day, they forgot to pick it up, they didn't pick it up. He seemed livid, but they've got nothing else to worry about. I mean, it's a weird, it's a weird worry, isn't it? 
Uh, you, you've got a tub of shit you can't get rid of. But that's the only time I've seen an Eskimo animated here. Can I get a bucket? Yeah, you can have a bucket. You can have that. Thank you. It's all right. Remember to tip me at Christmas. <laughs> Okay. This is just random. I thought about like him doing this job. Most people who have to do something like this and they know they don't have to do it permanently, they um just act in a type of way. I love how he's still being courteous and stuff like it's his own business. That's good. Not messing about now in the eye. We've got some whales to see. Uh, I thought it'd be fun if you did it by husky, but only use them if they're treated well. If they want to pull you along, if not, walk. All right. Don't shower them. Don't hit them. Make sure they're. Bed. Make sure they're enjoying it. Don't make them do anything they don't want to do. Make sure their feet aren't sore. If they are, get them little shoes or something. All right. See you later, boy. Oh. All right. How's it going? Hey, you must be Carl. Yeah, Carl. I'm Bill Carter. Bill. Nice, nice to meet you. This is your team over here. This is Woodrow. He's your leader. He's in charge. He's in charge. He's Wood Woodrow. Woodrow. Hold on tight. Hold on tight. Oh, I'm going Wood. Hey. Okay, so this is Jesse. 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 Why is he so icy? Yeah. Yeah. This one's Simon. Simon. Hi, Simon. Carl. Oh. It's like when you're at a wedding and everyone's going, "This is Frank, the cousin, and that is his, you know, stepfather." Of the, and you, you kind of go, oh, "Right, yeah," and you think a second later, it's out of your mind. I stink. You have to stand here and watch. I have to stand here watching while I hook my guns up. But I don't want to wait. He's gonna film this. It's like going round to a friend who has got a baby, and he makes me realise I don't want one. <laughs> so I got on the back of it. No instructions really. It was like use the anchor to stop it, use the brake to slow it down, but. That's not enough, is it? Okay. That's still pulling me. I've got my foot on the brake. Okay, we'll blow. Your foot on the brake. Fucking hell. I'm gonna let go. Fuck me. Fuck off. Hold on. Hey, yeah. Hey. Look at him. Fucking hell, he's a hunk. Oh, shit. Hold on. It reminded me of being in a supermarket when you jump on a trolley. And do all that, and I'm pretty good at that. It's the same rush. You sort of know you're in no control whatsoever. Slow down, you twat! <laughs> what sort of lake is this? <laughs> Easy boys! Easy boys! Fucking stop! <laughs> stop! <laughs> I think you, when the dogs get old, what do they do? And it's always sort of, you know, they just retire them. Now I don't know if that means someone goes into a dog's home and goes, can I have this dog? And they've got no idea and they chuck a ball and never see it again. I don't know how it works. <laughs> Where's the five foot snow today? They don't listen at all. Shouting the name, foot on the brake, that brake does nothing. We're on ice. A brake on ice does not work. It's just sliding along. It looks like you were doing all right there. Fucking fuck! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> fucking fucking shit! Stop! <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Where are we meant to be going? I thought you said this is a lake. It's a river. Well, what's all this here? Yeah. Open water, you're fine. Can we just stop a minute? Yep. See, they don't listen, do they? <laughs> Must be getting rougher. They're not taking any notice. That brake doesn't work. The pad thing is a waste of time. My legs are killing me, my arms are hurting. What? But. I've never had a go on one. You're taking me through rivers and shit. What else is up there? <laughs> Slow. Easy, boys. <laughs> <sighs> oh, How many hours are we doing? How many hours are we doing? How many hours? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Finally get some signal. Put the phone on. Couple of messages. I think, oh, that's nice. Sue's been missing me, thinking Suzanne might have been in touch. Or my mum and dad, or something like that. First message comes up, it's from Ricky, just asking me if the doctor's been round yet. It's still going on about this thing about having a finger up the arse. It's not going to happen. It is not going to happen, especially not on telly. I certainly don't want to have it done here. 
It's freezing weather, the doctor's hands will be cold. It's the last <laughs> thing I want. I think I've got a temperature as it is. It's hard to tell because it's so cold. Oh, no. Carl. All right, mate, how's it going? Oh, well, I'm fine, mate, but where are you speaking to me from? Um, just in the middle of nowhere. I came all this way to see a whale. I have, I, all, uh, the only whales I've seen are dead ones on roundabouts. They seem to stick the bones everywhere. Right, I know you're supposed to be seeing a whale, but it seems mad when you're there to not, you know, stop and see some um, glaciers as well at the same time. But, but I've, I've, Steve, honestly, I've seen nothing but snow and ice since I've been here. I don't need to see any more. It's madness. You know, the glaciers are melting really rapidly. I mean, they're going at the rate of something like 500 metres a year. Some of them are melting 100 metres a day. I, is it on the way to the whale thing? It's sort of on the way. You know, they're in the water, the whales are in the water. It's a water-related experience. All right. Enjoy it. I don't know Steve's sort of making a big deal about it, like before they're gone. I don't think they'll go, it's still freezing here. Global warming. Look at the amount of kit I've got on. My auntie Nora was worried about the ice melting. She just thought that meant all ice gone. She was thinking, what am I going to do, you know, with my whiskey and coke? <laughs> it's like, no, no, it's just a mountain. She's like, oh, whatever. I mean, it looks good. I like, I like the way it looks. Good colour and everything, but I don't know what, what Steve wants me to get from this. And he wants you to appreciate the damage the global warming's doing. Yeah, it's not me who wants to be told, it's Susan at home. She's into wasting energy. Air dryer, doing her hair all the time. I, I don't do that. I am energy efficient, because I'm bald. Not wasting hot water, washing my hair. No air dryer. If she cared so much, shave her head. <laughs> what are they doing messing about at the back? I've seen little boats being put in. Steve wanted you to get close. Swimming in glacier water. How close do I need to get? I don't... I, I, it's just getting silly. It's dicey, this. Proper... I'm in there, swimming about, and that goes off. Causes a wave, dead. Carl? How's the water running? Yeah, it's fine, yeah. Hey, Carl? Yeah? You're meant to be getting in the water. What's your hope? It's pretty... <laughs> I wouldn't mind if there was a whale in here. It'd be a, a reason to get in. Have a look. There's nothing in here. What's this about? Hey? Floating about like a crisp packet. <laughs> I've seen whales on the telly. I wouldn't mind seeing one in real life before they die out. That's what I'm always hearing. They might not be around for much longer. I suppose you go out of your way to see it, don't you? It's like your grand, she's in hospital. You're going, oh, she's got a week left to live. You go out of your way. It's not always a great time to see them, because they're in a bit of a mood. But you sort of go out of your way, and that's what I'm doing. I'm going out of my way a bit here to see something before it dies. Hello? All right. I'm just, uh, I'm just drained, to be honest. Well, listen, don't get ill. We need to have a proper medical. You know what I'm talking about. We need to make sure your prostate and your testicles are OK. Like I say, I haven't bumped into any doctors. Um, <laughs> so, uh, you know, that hasn't happened. But, uh, yeah. but yeah. Right. Well, uh... Well, you have to make sure they are real doctors. Because I'm with that. Stay with Dr. Fox, never again. No, I don't. Now, today, you're gonna go and see what you actually came for in the first place whale watching. Um, I've 
sorted a boat for you. Now, it's not a tourist boat. You know, you're quite privileged again. You're not just being packed in with all the, the, the general punters. Um, it's a, a, a working fishing boat, and um, uh, my man Brian is going to look after you. So once again, an absolute money can't buy experience for you, Carl Pilkington. And my pleasure. Enjoy it, man. All right. I'll see you later. Bye. 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 Yeah, I'm not bothered about seeing lots, I just want to see a big one. I want something that makes me go, bloody hell, what is that doing there? You know, look at the size of that, that's what I want. I'm into fish, I don't like eating them, but there's a lot of weird stuff in that ocean. There's one uh, lantern fish that has a, has a light bulb on its head, like a thing, because it's so deep down in the dark. And there was a bloke who's into fish, he got one, had it in a fish tank, and he used it to read his book by at night. You never think of a fish as being handy. When Suzanne wants a fish, I always go, what's the point? They don't do anything. But I'd have one of them, because I get sick of leaving the light on and stuff. I'm forever going around turning switches off. Hey, Carl, time to uh, chop, chop, give the guys a hand. Grab them a pair of coveralls or something. Size large. Oh, it stinks. How long are you out for? Until just the night. Pretty clean on the inside, just the outside, it's got fish oil on it. Oh, that looks sick. Things to do before you die, yeah? And here's the fun part. Watch that knife in your hand there, I don't want to... Has someone ran over it? Well, I have never it... seen an octopus that looks like that. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> Is it inside out or what? What's that? It looks like it's a bum bag. Yeah, it has been turned inside out. So, chop, chop. Move your hand, baby. Move your hand. Chop, chop, chop. Yeah, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Chop, chop. I wanted to see a whale. I didn't know I was doing this. I feel a bit sick already. I tell you what, he's pacing about out there like a madman. Chop, chop. OK, get these guys all good and smashed up. Time to make hay, gentlemen. Just got to get some air. We can't do this. He said we're out all night. There's no way I can do this all night. It's really bobbing up and down now. I don't know who to be angry at. That, him up there, or Ricky, or what? Stop, baby. Yeah. I think about the smell and like the barbers make like, me nauseous. feel like fucking death are you. I can get out of here if you want to be sick. Received 6.20 a.m. Listen, I'm stuck here like a I've another boat. He's going dark. I've been on it for Christ knows how long. He's doing this dead in. This is fucking ridiculous. I'm here on the boat over me and fishermen's friends. And I'm still fucking stealing. See you later. Is it better inside or out? Down, 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 man. I don't want to be a fisherman. I never said I wanted to do anything like this. It's not worth it. All this pissing about for a fish. Zach Afron, fuck's sake, <laughs> King Kong. It's not even funny, this. What's wrong with this? Why is there no picture but the sound on? Does this tell me even work? It's driving me insane. It looks miserable. What's going on, man? Can you put the tally on, Paddy, please? Can you put the tally on for me, please? Put the tally on. I don't want to do fish. We never see the ring it on in the valley. I'm not cutting any more fish. Get your ring it out then. No, no. Take it out, man. I don't know. That's too bad, man. I didn't want to. I didn't come to cut fish. On the galley. It's your fucking King Kong, eh? <laughs> it's driving me insane. It's the longest intro. Oh, come on. Sick. 
What? Huh? What? What? There's some wheels. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah, wheels are there. What? Whereabouts? What? I can't climb up there. Get him to go. Where? I've got to lie down. I'm better when I'm lying down. There, there, up ahead. See that? See the air coming out? You're not going to see them from down there, Carl. Really not bothered. Tell me when we're right close. Oh, there's a fin. There's a fin thing. Here's a tail, I know. I hope you enjoyed the whales. Amazing. Um, I just wanted to put your mind at rest. Um, I know you missed that prostate exam, but do not worry. I've arranged for you to have one as soon as you get back in England. So, um, yeah, relax. All right, boy. See you later. Next time on An Idiot Abroad. I think that would be... That all, all when he was getting sick on a bo boat, I was starting to feel nauseous because I was just sick the other day. Um... I don't know if it's what I ate or a vitamin or something, but I was nauseous for, man, for a few hours. But, yeah. Ugh. It was gross. But I enjoyed this episode, man. There are a lot of funny bits. Um, not a whole lot to not a whole lot to say about this one, man. It was it was just it was just an enjoyable, I mean, a typical Carl. Dude, he, he's he funny and, like, grumpy, and I enjoyed it. Man. Can't really think of nothing else, man, about the episode. Cause I know I feel like some. Like, I probably said the dog slash scene was my favorite scene from the whole episode. Like the whole that whole point, like him getting frustrated and like I'm trying to call the dog. Watch out! <laughs> oh yeah, that's my yeah, that's my favorite scene. Was when he was yelling at the dogs and the dogs wouldn't freaking stop. That was great. Um, but yeah, I won't ramble too long in this episode, guys. Um, I know it's a lot of you guys' comments and stuff I got to get to. Um, um, it's a decent amount of comments under about maybe seven or eight videos I have to get to. Um, I want to go ahead and pull this up on the screen. It's going to block my face, but it's all good. Right here. These are our first 30, um, what do you call it? Our first 30 Patreons. So I want to thank you guys, everybody who um, who came and donated to Patreon. It, it helps a lot. I really, really appreciate it. Um, I know right now all I have on there is um, an episode of Father's Head, an episode of The It Crowd. But I'm planning on getting a lot more stuff that's um, on there. I wanted to be able to clip down a couple of those episodes and get it on YouTube. But it's, YouTube blocks those shows like crazy. So um, I've, I've tried different things. I've tried clipping them down to 15 minutes, all the jazz. And they just still block it. Um, the best I got so far was they blocked it, um, the UK and everything. But it was available here in the States. So right now it's just going to be on Patreon. So I can find a way to clip it up a little bit for you guys to at least see some of it on YouTube. Um, but thank you guys so much for your donations. I know it's... This will be the only time I do this because the tier set the highest tier you get your name put in the credits and um there are three people who are in the high, highest tier and that is um Andy um Alex and I believe Arvid and I think no Ar Arthur is as well I believe um everybody else is there in uh, the lower tiers it's Patreon if you don't have been a Patreon before it's just a tier system and you have war rewards based on that. So I'm um, going forward to just be the people in the high tiers, but I'm just I, I really wanted to show that I appreciate everybody who are like the first thirty people who are willing to like take a chance and actually like um donate to us. That that is just really, really awesome and I appreciate that and I plan on putting a lot more content on Patreon right now. So thank you guys very much to first thirty. Um, I, I only put the first initial of your last name because for privacy reasons, I assume you don't want your full name on the video. Um, 
yeah, that is all, guys. Thank you all very much for your patronage. Going forward, like I said, it'd be the highest tiers. It'd be the ones who are in the credits. But for the first video, I want to make sure I put everybody in there because I appreciate everybody's donation. Um, even going forward, I'm going to appreciate everybody's donation. But it's um, part of the reward system for the higher tier to get your name in the credit. So um, thank you guys a lot. Um, this has been very fun. This has been a really enjoyable video. This has been a really enjoyable journey getting into all this... Um, all these new shows and all these new people and, and everything. And I really appreciate you guys a whole lot. I don't know how many times I can say that. I probably uh, over say it, but thank you guys very much. I really, really appreciate it. Um, hopefully you guys are happy, safe, and healthy. And I'll see you in the next video. Later.